seems like we're in serious weed well. Seems like the world is spinning rather quickly and folks are upset. Well, they're upset because people don't have strategy and tactics. Now, I, um, I check out things, you know, on the internet all the time because I'm sitting here in the, well, I'm sitting here in, in, in the Kenny or Alice uh, in Southern Africa and, you know, I'm not, I don't have, t I don't do TV, blah, 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 so I get a lot of stuff over the internet. And uh, every once in a while, I have several sites, but every once, every maybe six weeks, I check out theroot.com, which is not one of my favorite sites. You know, usually I, I'll do, I'll, I'll do, well, if I'm going to do a black site, I'll, I might do a black agenda report or, you know, I'll, I check out the, well, that's black, but I'll, but I'll do like things like, like the internet, alt, um, um, the internet, the, um, uh, the intercept, you know, uh, I'll do, um, I'll do, uh, all, uh, 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 alter, uh, Alternates. I'll, I'll do common dreams for some things. I do. I do some stuff. So, but anyways, every once in a while, I want to get you know the, the popular black perspective, I guess. And I came across this thing since Brett Kavanaugh got um, whatever he got. You know, he's going to be a Supreme Court justice. Um, and it says, "Does Brett Kavanaugh have a race issue?" It's by a, a Phyllis Leon. I expect uh, uh, F E L I C E Phyllis. Last name Leon. Uh, L E O N with the you know, the accent over the O's, I guess it's pronounced Leon. Anyway, um, he says, that, well, let me get to the meat of it. It says, in, in 2002, uh, Brian uh, said Hud Hudley. Brian Hudley was in his car when a D.C. police officer, now this is Washington, D.C., police officer uh, uh, tapped on his window. The 41-year-old was asked to get out of the car. Um, uh, Hudley uh, got out, and the officer thought he was reaching for a gun. Hudley was shot and killed. Okay. We won't get into all that. I don't know what the circumstance was. Brian Hudley's family uh, filed a lawsuit f uh, for wrongful death, and a jury awarded them um, $242,000 uh, 242, yeah, in damages. But, uh, but this was a fraction of what the family asked for, so they filed an appeal. Okay. See, this is law, this is litigation in the states. Uh, during the appeal, uh, Kavanaugh and two other judges on the D.C. Co uh, Court of Appeals decided to reverse the family's cash award, toss out the jury's entire verdict, and send the family back to the lower court um, uh, to go through a whole nother, we do it black now, trial. Kavanaugh wrote in his opinion, it was Hudley, this is very important, it was Hudley intervening, inten intervening intentionally it was Hudley's intervening intentional misconduct that caused the office to cause Officer Grain's intervening, sh intervening shooting, which in turn caused the death of Hudley. I couldn't read it because it doesn't make sense to me. The court also said the police might be liable for excessive force and assault and battery. Okay? From the case, uh, anyway, that's what they said. Uh, I won't get into the rest of it. You can... Check it out on, on, on whatever.com, theroot.com. Now, here's, here's what I'm trying to say. Uh, strategy and tactics. Um, what, what the Republicans, well, what the forces of the force, what those forces have been doing for a long time. They started with Barry Goldwater, you know, back when Hillary Clinton was hanging out with Barry Goldwater. And, you know, on through, then it, it got ramped up with Nixon, and he had this crew of people around him, which included people like Dick Cheney, whatever happened. They were very young, and they, they were doing all kinds of, you know, frat boy things, let's put it that way, in politics, okay? And, and then let's leave him alone. Then you got Reagan. Now, Reagan was a perfect thing because he had a, he, he was a radio trained, so he had this nice voice, you know, it's, it's, the, the view meter stayed right in the middle, you know, and, and he had, you know, just the voice, let's put it that way. And he's just an empty shell, he's an actor. And so they were just feed things into him and he was just going on, going on, going on. Because remember, he comes from the era with, 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 with uh, that Cohen guy and, and, and uh, the McCarthy era, you know, he was the head of the actors, you know, he's the one that, that basically sicked them on the actors, had the whole blacklist and oh, we won't get into all that stuff. Okay. So back then, also back then they set up a thing called, I think it's called the Federalist Society. Well, but basically I went to the colleges and, and if you was in law school and you, and, and then they would groom you and help you, whatever have you. And then those people eventually, try and talk long-term strategies that they did. And that, that went on. So then, and I don't know if Brett Hedford was one of those people, but I think uh, Clarence Thomas, a bunch of those people, Supreme Court judges were that, and all these lower uh, circuit court people were that. Okay, great. Now. Here's the defining moment to me. 
the show the, the, the shows their determination and strength and their focus thing. The 2000 elections, yeah, you remember the famous one with W, you know, and, and, uh, Bush Jr. and uh, and Al Gore. Now I'm not look, Al Gore's look. When when that all that all that thing happened, the first thing I said, look, Al Gore couldn't even carry his state of Tennessee. That he don't deserve to be president, but we won't get into that right now. What was most important with that, when they were contesting, when, when I say contest, I really mean fighting uh, in the Florida for the vote, you could see there was operative, Republican operative that went down, they put outside and that went down to, to the, and you can see them really fist fighting with the, the whole Chad thing. You can, it's documented. You can see some of these people, these same people who are there, the, the outside people, uh, these Republican, these, these operatives, I'm, I'm, I'm going to forget this Republican Democrat people, I'm going to leave that alone. They were actually fighting. And, and when, when Gore actually punked out, punked out and wouldn't wouldn't make them count all of them when the when their Supreme Court stepped in the Supreme Court same thing with those Federalist people that, that was that, that was seated in the Supreme Court by Ronald Reagan or some people when when they intervened in the election and stopped the count right that's all the operatives that's all that they did that that's what they did and 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 and, 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 they, and uh, basically the the the, the whistles you know the, the operative versus the whistles the whistles just punked out right Okay, now we'll sort of fast forward. Not fast forward. Uh, uh, this was W. But remember, right before W, you, you had you had uh, uh, Big Bill. You know, uh, uh, um, what was his uh, Bubba? You had Bubba and 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 the Hill Woman. Right? They both uh, uh, basically became operatives. <laughs> Let's put it that way. They became operatives. That's the problem. Okay, because we don't we don't we we don't fight. We punk out. When I say we, I mean the the, the people are, that, that are not operatives. They don't fight. They punk out. And these other the operatives, they keep on pushing, 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 no matter what you say. And therein lies the problem. And I'm gonna I, I, let me just to be try to wrap this up. Hopefully, look, it's like this. Why is the Hill woman still on the scene? She was defeated. Why is she the face of of, of the party? I'm not, don't give me a book. I mean, the only one that acted really is Bernie Sanders. Why do we allow um, Barack Obama to come back on the scene? But forget Barack. I'm talking about the Hill woman. This is crazy. This is totally crazy. Because if 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 I was one of these people, the Hill, I'd say, look, it's not your 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 job to hey, and talk about Kavanaugh and and and, and to keep on reacting with things. You 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 you're through with that. Your your politics are a suspect anyway. If I was if I was doing anything, I said, look, you want to set up a foundation, whatever have you. Here's what you need to do. Here's what you Hill woman. You here's what you need to do. What you need to do is go and set up a thing to get all those black boys and 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 all all those black people out of jail. You that's what you should be working on. You should you should be con you you should uh, be contrite about what, what did you cause all this prison system action. That's your job. Your job is not to get up here and, and talk about the women's issues or whatever. Because you never come on. You remember having the, it's a Cynthia Nixon in New York State. You know you wasn't on her side then. You was on you still on Cuomo's side. You know so this that's total farce. It's, she should be. And remember all this stuff usually comes from the inside. The inside. We we have to clean up our own. The 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 the. the it's called the decent people. The opposite clean because the operatives stay on on. They stay on point. They really really stay on point. You, they had everybody talking about the sexual thing, and the black people didn't say nothing. They, the black people should have been talking about this whole thing about hey, you know this this judge guy. He don't like black people. He's gonna do things against black. People. We ain't heard. I ain't heard a peep about that. And then when the women lose, okay, we're gonna go to the election. Well, hey. Go what you want, but these guys are they know what they're doing. They have strategy and tactics and therein lies the problem. You know. So I I I I let me get back I'm gonna say one more thing, I guess. Um, um, back to this uh, Kavanaugh thing. This thing spread worldwide because what's happening on the horizons right now? Now remember we we have this uh we have we have elections here, but Brazil just had an election. I was just reading on the intercept, like I said, uh how the, the right, the, the forces of evil, the right wing, have totally taken over Brazil. I mean, it's amazing. And the polls didn't even indicate this, this was going to happen. And so you have uh, you have people that, that's in the Pinochet kind of mentality that are now going to be in charge of Brazil. That can't be good. That can't be good at all. 
you know. And then if you if you want to go uh, if you want to go even deeper, uh, I mean, it's not just Brazil, but it's uh, it's all over the world. Things keep on switching. My biggest thing I, I mentioned it before is this thing. This guy named Uhuru. Uhuru Kenyatta, Kenyatta, like Jomo Kenyatta's son, right? He spent his time going to school in Europe or whatever have you. He's not really in touch with Kenya. And Uhuru means freedom. And what does he try? What did he try to sign in? Well, I guess he did it already. Sign into into law that you can he can privatize the prisons in Kenya. Where did he get that from? Where did that model come from? It came from the United States. Just like when we talked about uh, uh, before uh, this whole thing about the killing homosexuals in in, in Uganda and, and 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 whatever. Where did they come? They came from some white cracker Christians uh, taught them that. So all the stuff that, all the negative stuff that we're going to get has been, has been laboratoried in, in the United States. And when we have these people pick this up, boom, you know, this whole thing about, again, about Brazil, that, that's straight out of the playbook of, of the, of the, um, uh, well, the Trump playbook. So my thing is this, <clears throat> you have to figure out what you're going to do and not keep on reacting because if you react to, to these forces you're going to be in, in a mire this is a big this is a huge problem man i can't believe we're, 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 that people are just uh, uh, are stupid i guess i shouldn't be that harsh but anyway good luck man good luck to us all because this is just not working anyway this is not working for me at least me being t from the patterson's taking the train to bed letting you know what I only, well, I, what I definitely suspect.